Hi guys and welcome to my first official Unreal Engine 4 devcast. I was thinking long about releasing this uh, devcast since I do devcasts, uh, mostly 2D devcasts in a different engine, in different platform. But a lot of you were asking me how do I, some of the stuff in Unreal Engine 4 I do. So I decided to buy the build and do some devcasts. Uh, this devcast is not going to be a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial on building a game or stuff like that. I will probably even in this in devcast and uh, the next Unreal Engine 4 devcast pick a topic and talk about it, how to set something up. But it's not going to be a gradual building of a game type of devcasts. So what we are going to do in this devcast is setting up and exporting a model a human model from a make human which is a 3d application open source 3d application for modeling and rigging human characters it's a very neat application if you don't know it you will be you know surprised how how great it is for an open source project and then we are going to import it to the unreal engine 4 and since we want to animate it using an existing Unreal Engine animations, we are going to retarget the skeletons to use it with the Unreal Engine animation and do some final touches on it to avoid artifacts. We will talk about it later. So let's jump uh, right into it. I'm going to open the Make Human. Uh, I'm using the latest uh, nightly 1.1 make human which supports uh, the Unreal Engine skeleton directly since the previous versions didn't have that they have they had uh, their own skeleton so I advise you to download the nightly with the 1.1 version you can find it in the, at the makehuman.org website we are going to model a girl so let's put some clothes there so youtube the don't deletes us obviously i rather play with women <laughs> that's because that's why i'm going to build a women character do some kind of touches okay that's probably even too much And wait a bit there. You can play with it in any way, obviously. Doesn't really matter. Let's do some hair there. And some materials. Okay, we have a nice girl there. Now, what you need to is uh, set up the pose, uh, the skeleton. And this is what the 1.1 Writers Nightly supports is the Unreal Engine and even Unity skeleton. So you don't have to retarget or re rebind the skeletons from the make human to Unreal Engine because you can run into problems if there are no, if no similar bones or not enough bones or stuff like that so this will work very nicely and now finally we are going to export it export the FBX which is pretty much a standard in uh, latest uh, game engines I already have it there so I will write Oh, I sorry. forgot something. Check it out. There are scale units here, which will make human use to export this character. And since Unreal Engine works with centimeters, you need to check centimeters here. Because if I export it in using decimeters, you will get a really, really small girl. So I'm going to export that again. And now run. Unreal Engine. I have a simple first person shooter here we are going to use to import our character. I'm really going to delete the annoying label. Now I will create a 
new import folder here and import our fbx asset here as you can see this is some kind of annoying cleaning up bug in Unreal Engine 4.8 didn't do it before but now I'm running into this all the time it doesn't matter it has no no bearing on functionality it's just annoying so you can pretty much use the default settings here no need to change anything just make sure you are importing the skeletal and importing the mesh as well so import this will take uh, some time depending on your on your character and since we are going to animate our character our skeleton using the existing Unreal Engine animations we will need some kind of animations here so we can go to the epic launcher so I can't get there yet and as you can see the import was successful a little bit of warning about smoothing group doesn't matter if you use for example a different different scale of units you can run into a warning that the physics asset the dummy for the skeleton couldn't be created because your skeleton is too small that's because you are using the wrong units and obviously if you had uh, some kind of different uh, skeleton there from the make human you didn't use the Android engine you can run into uh, different warnings as well so any kind of warning except this one tells you that something is wrong obviously it's not the same as as for me now you can we are going to download the animations from the marketplace the free animations I already downloaded them but I wanted to, to show you so character and animations and here there is an animation starter pack it's completely free from epic you can download it I'm going to add it to my project yes I already had it there let's overwrite and now we are going to firstly let's let's put our character there since you can see the import it created all the assets needed for us you have all the texture and material assets you have the physics asset and the skeleton asset and our our mesh since we set up the units correctly we have a we have a girl there everything works now we want to animate our girl so what we need to do is retarget the the mesh the skeleton so it works with the Unreal Engine animations so we'll select our skeleton select the retarget uh, manager set up a rig there is a humanoid rig uh, provided by the unreal uh, click it up and now if you if you had on the make human unreal engine skeleton there which supports the exact same skeleton as unreal engine you would need to bind the bones so these are the unreal engine bones root pelvis spine and you would need to pick up from your skeleton bones which represent the same bone as the Unreal Engine so which one is root, which one is pelvis, and which one is spine and so on but since the uh, make human supports the exact same skeleton with the exact name naming it will look it up automatically for you so you don't need to do anything here Unreal Engine set it up for you this is, these are all the base bones there are some some advanced bones which not all of them are supported by the make human these are index and middle and pinky these are all for the fingers and down here are a few few custom ones like the custom and the twist bones which I use to twist the, the geometry on the other engine robot and the inverse kinematics bones which are not supported by the make human skeleton doesn't really matter most of the animations work with the base skeleton anyway they don't animate the fingers and stuff like that so if your skeleton is bound for the base bones you should be okay so let's save it and now we want our girl to animate using some of the animations I brought here so we don't have it here why we don't have it here so let's reimport I should add to the to our project these animations for the hands they will not work obviously 
so again we want animations the starter pack edit to I don't know why this doesn't work for some reason here now I'm going to delay, delete it and now reimport again It's strange, it always worked. So I'm going to pause the animation, the <laughs> animation, the video and uh, try to work it out and come back. Okay, I'm back and as you can see our animation starter pack is in my project. I just had to close the project and reopen it again and re-import. So let's say we want to or let our girl die so we are going to yeah I'm such morbid guy so we want to animate our skeleton using the death animation and I'm going to do something which will not work but I will show you because I found out that a lot of people had a problem with this since they don't read documentation or I don't know why Let's say you want to animate our skeleton. We are going to set the skeleton, the target manager, set it to humanoid rig, save, okay. And we are going to use it. So this is the retarget animation. This will retarget the animation asset and duplicate it for our skeleton so we can use it with our skeleton. Let's click it up. And this is something that will tell you right away that something's not really going on it it shows you the source target pose and the target target pose which is our skeleton and they don't really look similar let's do it anyway but it, this is a pretty big hint that something's not going to work and sh how does it look on our skeleton really a mess it looks, it looks like kind of silent hill boss or something so let's <laughs> remove it and show you how to do it correctly so we want to use this this animation but we can't set up the rig for this skeleton inside this animation because it will save the pose used in this animation so we need to go to the skeleton which this animation uses which is the mannequin and retarget this so use this for the humanoid rig and save the pose and since this skeleton is used for the death animation now if we go back to the death animation and retarget and uh, duplicate it you can see that the source pose is correct and looks very very similar to our make human pose so now do that go to our import and check our girl and as you can see it works and she's dying and dying away okay. but if I, if I pause it here you can see there are a lot of artifacts for example on the hands they are they are <laughs> wrangled Maybe that's part of the death, but I don't think really so. And feet look ugly, stuff like that. We are going to fix this, but but first we want to use a different animation to, to show it a little bit better. For example, the idle pistol. We can directly use the retarget animation. We don't need to set up the pose again because all of these animations use the same same skeleton. And once we set up the skeleton for retargeting, it's, we can duplicate and retarget all the animations. So let's do that. And let's check it out. And now we can see the artifacts here. So let's fix them. What we need to do is select the skeleton and the hand and as you can see it's it's not really in a place it should be you can you can move it manually and fix that but doing that for all the fingers and stuff a lot of work so uh, you can do it really fast and let Unreal Engine help you just switch to the advanced options 
click on the hand, right click and recursively set the retargeting skeleton and it will recursively set from the bone you selected and all up. So fix and as you can see it works. Now she is gripping a pistol. There may be still some minor glitches which you need to uh, se set up and fix manually because girls and have a different hand than a, than a soldier and there will be a minor minor offsets but this is the main problem so let's fix the other hand as well you need to really show the advanced options don't forget this because I, if, if I do this you don't have the option to retarget them recursively so always use the advanced options and retarget recursively now she is gripping the pistol. Let's fix the legs as well. One and the other. And now she is fixed. And since we fixed it here, again we use the different animation, the idle pistol animation, but we are doing the fix on the skeleton itself, not on the animation. We are just using the animation to check it out better because the dead is moving a lot. So once we fixed it on the skeleton, it will work for all the animations. So now if we switch the animation to the dead again for the skeleton you can check it out that it's it's fixed for the animation of the dead as well. So now if we retarget another animation for example let's stand animation do a stand or let's check it out on our girl it will work and the glitches are fixed as well so this is a really really fast way how to import the uh, human characters into your game and animate them using the existing unreal animations or you can use the free animation starter pack but even if there are uh, additional animations that could come up to the Unreal Marketplace, they will most probably obviously use the Unreal Skeleton so you can buy them and use them on your characters freely because now you know how to retarget them to the make human or pretty much to any character even if you had a different skeleton as I, as I said you just need to pick up the bind you bind the bones from the Unreal to the skeleton of your choice so this is everything from me today and next uh, devcast uh, which I'm going to do and I already know that I'm going to do is uh, create a character inside make human import it to the my ILT which I use and set up uh, animation there since I want some kind of custom animation I don't want the Unreal Engine animations I want a custom one and then we are going to import it into Unreal Engine so there will be a pipeline between MakeHuman, Maya LT, and Unreal Engine. And I will show you how. So thanks for now and any feedback is welcome. If you, if you want to ask something and if you have a note how to do something better, I may learn as well. And thanks you guys and see you next time.